Hello, this is Kennedy Thomas of Girl Scout Council of the Southern Appalachians. And I am standing here in front of the Tennessee State Supreme Court building, and I am about to go in and interview a very important Girl Scout, Justice Sharon Lee. Justice Lee will never forget being a Girl Scout. I brought some things to show you from my Girl Scout days. I had a badge in reading, and as you can see, I do a lot of reading in my job. I had a badge in good citizenship, and um, I have a job of public service. And the best part about my Girl Scout uniform and the brown uniform, we got to wear them to school the day of, of a meeting. So oh. you, we had meetings on Monday afternoons after school, and we would go to school in our uniforms. So all day, um, we looked very special, and we stood out. And um, so I loved wearing my uniform. This photograph was taken at our mother-daughter um, tea. And as you can see, I was very, very excited. I had a huge smile on my face. Just as Sharon Lee is one of the most powerful people in Tennessee, she sits on the state Supreme Court, and Girl Scout values help guide her decisions. Here's a few questions I'm going right. to ask you. And the first one is, how does being a Girl Scout affect you being a judge? Well, I think as a Girl Scout, I learned a lot of great lessons. And the first lesson I think you learn, and the one that stays with you, is the lesson of being prepared. If you're prepared, um, you always do well. Yes. And if you're a lawyer and you're prepared, you do well. If you're a judge, you always have to be prepared. So I think that's, that's an important lesson that I learned as a Girl Scout, and it served me very well. I've learned that too, and it's serving me well in school good. right now. Helps you get good grades, doesn't it? Yes. Justice Lee says Girl Scouting builds character. The importance of serving God and serving your community, I think that's something that stays with you the rest of your life and helps you become a successful uh, person, whether you're a, a judge, a lawyer, a teacher, a nurse, a doctor, uh, a parent. Anything you do in life, you're going to be successful if you're prepared and if you uh, remain steadfast to your values. You know, I grew up in a small town where uh, we didn't have a lot of opportunities. We didn't have a lot of activities after school, and Girl Scouting was a big opportunity for us. Um, we all participated in Girl Scouts. We were involved in 4-H. Um, those, those grounded us, and, and living in a small town, you felt the closeness of that community. And, and children now live in bigger communities. They don't have that um, advantage, I think. So I think it's, it's even more important now that groups like the Girl Scouts are available to girls so that they have that sense of community, uh, a feeling of being a sister, uh, having, of knowing that people care about them and look after them and give them opportunities to learn. And being an all-girl environment, you, you do, it, it is a safety net. Uh, you can do things, you, you have more freedom, I think, to, to try new things. Um, and there's just a camaraderie there that you don't get other places. And that's um, a unique feeling uh, that you really carry with you the rest of your life. Kennedy, you have the name of two Supreme Court justices, Justice Kennedy and Justice Thomas on the U.S. Supreme Court, your first and last name. The first and last name? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I'm just sitting here thinking about that. At the end of the day, Justice Lee honored me by letting me try on a robe and sit on the bench. I know that I can make a difference in the world just like Justice Lee. And I am proud to declare her a woman of achievement. Congratulations.